Hi everyone, welcome back to KA Photography and for today's video, we're going to unbox the KNF Concept Variable ND Filter. This is the ND2 to ND32 67mm for Sigma 16mm f1.4 uh, for Canon mirrorless camera mount. So what is a variable ND filter anyway? Variable ND filter is mainly used for videographers, so it helps to manage your camera settings in some situations, especially if you are shoot in the outdoor at uh, daytime. So there are uh, several types of ND filters like the solid ND filter, like the gradient ND filter, which is commonly used for uh, photography. At this time, variable ND filter is the best option for us to utilize the exposure in fast and easy way. No? Um, yeah, why I chose KNF concept filter over the other brands? So, first, the reason is cost. It's cheaper than the other brand. I got this filter for around $47 that can also deliver excellent output in your video. Uh, there are some particular things that to consider when you're buying ND filters. First is the color cast. Second is the vignetting, and the last is sharpness. So here are the comparison of the ND filter that you can get in the market with the same quality. Note that this video is not sponsored by KNF Concept. I just spent my own money on this filter. These are the sample footage without ND filter at f1.4, 1 over 50 at ISO 100. And this is the footage of KNF ND filter at minimum ND2. And this is the footage of KNF ND filter at ND232. And this is the footage of KNF ND filter at ND32 or 5 stop. ND filter at 16 millimeter. So this is it's inside the box. There's a uh, yeah. A welcome letter from the KNF set aside this one and this is the actual box of KNF ND filter it's very nice and a decent box for a filter wow this is a nice box look at this guys so this is the filter inside a nice box uh, and there's a picture inside that's showing their uh, different types of filter products okay and it's a plastic paper and this is the filter it's a nice plastic uh, lens cover it's a nice look at that check this out okay so this is the filter look at that guys it's very beautiful the nd2 to nd32 now i'm going to show you the settings now i am going to change my settings to aperture f1.4 at 1 over 50 i saw 100 so it's overexposed so this is this is the nd2 so let's put on the lens the filter so now now this is that uh this is at nd2 at the minimum so we're going to change this look at that guys at 16 millimeter there's no vignetting this is a max ND32 at f1.4 so I can shoot at uh, 24 frames per second day time see with this filter without without vignetting this is at ND2 and this is with the ND32 So I'm going to show you the difference between the the one with the ND filter and the without ND filter. Now I'm currently shooting at f1.4 at 1 over 50 ISO 100. 
So now the filter is currently at uh, ND32. So I'm going to remove the filter and here it goes. This is the footage look like without the ND filter at 1 over 50 f1.4. So this is the one with the filter. ND32. It's a huge difference. So if you find this video helpful, you might consider subscribing to my channel for more videos about photography and videography. You can also check my previous video about the solid indie filter link in the description down below. And you can order this filter, I will leave the link in the description down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.